Yo, what's up, people? This is your boy Theo back with another episode of Shakedown. Now, we're taking a look back at 2018. We're going to talk about the interesting moments of 2018. Um, my personal best moments of 2018. Best films, best TV shows, what we've, what I have learned um, about most about 2018 and the people that we've lost this year. So, all that is to come. Hope you enjoy it. Please comment and let me know what you think about today's episode. And we're going to get right down to it. So, uh, one of the most interesting moments of 2018 is probably going to have to be uh, Meghan Markle marrying Prince Harry. Now, it was a wedding with a little bit of a twist. Um, and uh, it, was, it was a nice wedding, to be honest. Uh, I thought that uh, it was it was very different from the normal weddings that we had in terms of the royal family, um, with how traditional it was and how um, how it all looked and how it was all perceived. Um, it was a shame that mostly Meghan's family wasn't there. Um, I think obviously there's been a lot of bad blood there. Um, it's pretty. It's a shame that happened. Um, it's not. It's re it was a very, very nice thing to be honest. Um, it meant a lot for the royal family. Um, Princess Diana would have been so happy. Would have been so proud had she been there. Um, and even, even so, over twenty years long, um, after a tragic, a tragic death, um, it's still, um, still sad that they're not there to. She's not there to you know, be there as a grandmother, um, watching them grow and everything, but she, I bet she would have been proud of, them, proud of them both, you know, having kids and getting married and everything. So it's all a good thing, really. But uh, I remember the wedding best when the pastor was on there and uh, he was, he kept going, uh, uh, he kept going and going and going. It's not like for me, for me, um, he went off script and, and everything else, and but I, I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was cool. I, th I, I, I thought it was a, just a real good, a real good emphasis on of what it means to be in love, and you know you want to have the best day possible. And I'm pretty sure that they did have the best day. It's probably unforgettable and in their eyes, you know, when you have a new wedding, you, you know you want to do it right. So I think that's been. The coolest moment really another interesting moment um probably had to be arsene wenger stepping down as arsenal manager after 22 years he uh has decided to step down from the job um me being an arsenal fan obviously um i was um, i was on the fence for a lot of the time but the results wasn't going um our way um the tactics were a little bit outdated we were miles behind um other teams that's just coming up now and and also there, there's been um fighting amongst the fan base there's uh there was like it, it was so divided and it felt so toxic and it felt like we wasn't gonna go anywhere at all um and we all know he was gonna cut. We all know he was gonna step down. We just didn't know when. And when the, the time that he announced that it was gonna happen, I was in a bit of a state of a shock, to be honest, because I just thought it was never really gonna happen. I just didn't know when. And when the news broke down, I had to kind of dress back a little bit, and then I had to kind of proceed the news that he's just uh, like uh, stepping down, and um, all the. Mercy Arsene and uh, and all that stuff. It was just it, it was a nice thing to see. It was a lovely game to see, you know. Um, he came into this job. He didn't know that he was actually going to be to where he was, you know. Uh, and I think that I do have respect for him, you know, because for. Pretty much, some of the kids that's growing growing up, probably around my area and everything, would naturally just know that you know Arsene Wenger's always been there. And now that things are different now, and even though things are are changing for the better, 
even though it's an ongoing process at the moment. Um, you know, I think the, the respect's there. Uh, there. There will always be respect. You know, I've been given some of the greatest football moments um, as an Arsenal fan, let alone a football fan. But as an Arsenal fan, you just, the first 10 years, it's just remarkable. You know, being the only manager to guide a team unbeaten in a season, you know, winning the doubles, um, winning that White Hart Lane, um, it, 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 it can't beat that. It's, it's, there will be moments that be cherished. And uh, I don't, I remember him best. Um, when David Bowie died a few years ago, um, he, um, he was asked about him and he was asked whether or not he liked his music and and then um, he came up with this interesting quote that still stays stuck with me forever um he said and this was obviously david bowes cause he said that i've always been strong enough to be myself and i think that's what arsene wenger did he was strong enough to be himself even though things didn't go his way and everything and even though he he accumulated power and everything he was strong enough to be himself he uh he did what he felt was in the best of the club and he could read a balance sheet you know he had a business degree no sorry he had an economics degree you know so we was lucky to have someone like him so um yeah an interesting moment um arsene wenger stepping down as arsenal manager um the best one of the other best moments that i had um was my uh my recent birthday um and i had uh, such a good time i had a brilliant birthday i went to milton Keynes for the first time and you kind of think to yourself why would you want to go somewhere like that for but um yeah like i went to milton Keynes and i had a lot of fun down there it just felt like it was kind of new york kind of style kind of place like i like going to somewhere completely different for a change um and then i went to uh london where i on my birthday itself i was at the emirate stadium and i saw um my team play um wolverhampton wanderers and um we drew that game <laughs> but um, um, I was on there because like not many games fall on my birthday and I decided to go ahead and do that um, and um, I was happy just being there you know supporting my team you know I don't go to the Emirates a lot but it's something that I want to do I want to keep doing um, but uh, I'm, I'm proud of what I've done there and also I went to Bista for the first time and I saw the, the shops, the outlets that was there um, and it was like, it, it was very, very, um, very nice to, to see, you know, um, going down there. So, and I'm glad, um, and I'm glad um, that, uh, that I've done it. So it's, uh, it, it was a cool thing to do. It was cool. I had a lot of fun really i did i did i did it was a great weekend it's, it was kind of mad to be in so many places in, in a matter of days but i had fun okay so we're coming to the part where i'm going to talk about the best tv shows and the best films now now i know that people would be talking about big brother or love island um it was an interesting year for britain's got talent shout out to last voice guy for winning it um it was a very different thing to to see but it was a good thing you know x factor um, um dalton becoming the first um jamaican to win it um it's it, it was kind of been interesting for to a tv um but I'm going to start with um, the TV shows for, for a start. What I'm going to talk about is uh, Bulletproof for a start. Um, for too long, like I've never seen um, a cop, body cop show. Um, I've never seen. Let me go back. For too long, I've um, I've watched body cop um, shows and 
some of it worked, but some of it hasn't been, you know, standing the test of time. But with Bulletproof, when you got Ashley Walters, um, aka Ashley D, and Noel Clark, them two come together to actually create something as good as it's, it, it is. Um, it was interesting. It was, um, it, the bromance was just real, so real. And uh, it, it kind of transcended onto the the, the the show, to be honest. Um, we know that season two is coming, but it was such a big show. Um, it was uh, it was different, you know. Even so many times I saw many 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 um, American body cop shows, but this you know, doing things on a British thing and seeing two um, black British actor, actors making it. Um, it's an extraordinary thing. So if you haven't gone and seen it, please go and see it. Um, it's it was brilliant. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Bodyguard. Now Bodyguard um, was uh, I I I looked at it myself and I thought, okay, let's go and see what this is about. But it just kind of gripped um, the nation. Um, it was so powerful. Um, you know, to talk about all that espionage and and how it all works and how it all kind of gets together, how it all kind of um, uh, balances itself out, you know, um, talking about what things are, ha what things are on the inside are happening and they want to keep it away from the public as much as they can and then so, uh, so, uh, and then it just kind of blows up out of control and, and everything and it's kind of interesting to see that kind of thing going on um, I enjoyed it to be honest um, I know many people have enjoyed it um, it was very very gripping um, it kind of remind me about the fall to be honest but um, the way that it kind of gripped the nation um, in recent memory but I did enjoy that it was a good show um, I don't know if they're going to make a season two, but um, obviously the level of success that was there um, has to be respected. Um, so uh, we move on to uh, the films. Now um, it's been in a very exciting year um, for films because I've seen virtually more or less every blockbuster that um, you could think of. Um, bar a few that I still haven't yet to see I still need to um, at some point but um, the films that's done it for me is uh, Black Panther for a start um, Black Panther was it was more than a superhero film to, to many people um, to see a cast that was virtually a black black um, uh, person cast um, was a really interesting thing um it hasn't been that way since i think roots i think um but correct me if i'm wrong i enjoyed it um i enjoyed what was what it was about um i enjoyed the the storytelling behind it and the the, the how it kind of spoke about um certain issues it was brilliant it was a brilliant thing um, and uh, yeah it was so good and the other thing that I kind of done it for me was um, the coup de grace for me um, Avengers Infinity, Infinity War I was so excited see, seeing this film because um, we knew it was going to break it was going to be broke down into two parts um, and obviously the first part of, of this story um, was how this all this bigger threat was gonna come, even bigger than so before, and uh, you got all these group of characters and 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 everything. It just it, it just kind of felt that you you was right there in the film, right there seeing, right there, right you know, being in that sort of film, in that sort of environment. And and I re remember like with the Thanos thing with with Thanos, 
Josh Brolin played him brilliantly. Um, he was that just that whole. Uh, he, he was so evil in that. It's, it's crazy. But in the uh, but um, take away what he has done, he is actually a nice guy. You can easily see it. Um, but I thought it was a good thing. I thought it was good. Um, and I can't wait for Endgame, which is out next year. I can't wait for that. It's so it's going to be so much. So much fun seeing it. Like I'm at that part. I'm at that part now where I'm trying not to read so much into um, Endgame. I don't want to hear that much about it. Um, I don't want to hear what's going on. It's not going to work it for me because um, these guys have worked so hard on it, and um, I'm going to see the film in the best place possible. I'm going to take it all in because obviously from what I know what I know is that this thing is going to be a very different um, direction that's going to go into as far as the MCU is concerned so um, I'm trying not to best to know so much about it but I can't wait for it can't wait okay I'm going to reflect on uh, the people that we've lost this year and um, there's so many people that has passed away. I don't have a lot of time to talk about every single one of them. But I'm going to talk about a couple. Uh, first thing that I want to talk about is um, Aretha Franklin passing away. Um, she stood out for me because um, she is a talent in itself. Um, she was... A brilliant brilliant singer and a wonderful woman you can easily see that um, the last time that I actually saw her on TV singing was um, President Obama's when he was president um, Barack Obama's uh, inauguration that's the last time I remember hearing her sing but I remember when I used to work for my dad I used to um, work in his shop and I used to um, hear um, her album being played and um, I remember how breathless she was um, it took my breath away I was like wow so I was I was taken aback with the whole thing even though I was working and sometimes when you work and sometimes when you work you know you use music to kind of get you through the day but at that moment when I was hearing it, I, I, I can remember not working for a good 10 minutes or so. I was just standing there, there hearing it. I was like, wow. Wow. Um, but uh, to her dying and everything, um, it, 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 it kind of spoke volumes. And, um, and she left behind the legacy she did. So I respect her. So, well, the other person I'm going to talk about has to be Stanley. Um, Stanley uh, passing away at the age of 95, um, and I got to say that when I was a kid, I used to watch X Men, I used to watch Iron Man, I used to watch the Incredible Hulk um, TV series. Um, and I remember watching Spider-Man as well, um, and, and, I, in, and I didn't even think that all these things would turn out into films and in the way that it's been going down for the last 10 years or so, I didn't think that it was going to be possible. But he, he um, appeared in nearly every single one of the MCU. Um, films and also um, the X-Men films and uh, I, I just can't believe how it's all gone down it's like I think every single one of those characters, the actors that's played um, his characters they were all, all to him because without him they probably wouldn't have been, been on the level of success that they are on now but to his fans he gave his time to his, his fans he was able to talk about it 
Um, he had a great sense of humour. Um, he was brilliant. He, he, what a man. A, a career that spanned over 55 years. You know, to be able to um, to have gone in the way that he's done. Like, you know, um, he was just brilliant. He related, he related to so many people. So many. Um, yeah. So, it, it, I wanted to kind of talk about those two, but there's so many that has passed away, and I would say rest in pieces to all those that have passed away. Um, it's very, very sad to, to when you hear these good people that's passed away, and you know, and you know, you don't know what you got till it's gone. You don't know, and I. And I'm it got to the to a whole notion where I want to do I want to do my best in life. I want to make the most in my life, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, rest in pieces to all those that passed away. So the last thing that I'm going to talk about is what have I what have I learnt from 2018 um it's it's kind of a year for me personally that um over the next couple of years or so it's going to be very very critical for me um i'm into the age now where i do really need to do something i really do need to achieve something in life and um, um i need to just you know make the most of my life you know be happy but also I'm gonna have to work hard for the things that I want to get so um, so from next year I'm gonna um, do my best to kind of get out there and just see what's more out there and you know I hope that it'll be a year where you know I can achieve more and I can do more um, but I'm not gonna just gonna be talking about. It. I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna be doing it, um, in a personal sense. Um, I think also this year. I think because of what's going on uh, next year in terms of Brexit, everybody's got their head on the swivel. You know, we've spoke about Brexit, but I'm not gonna get into the whole political thing. It's too long for me to explain. But um, everything is going to change and everything um, is going to be different. We just don't know how it's going to be. Um, I think I think uh, that it's going to be hard, a lot harder than I think it's going to be. But um, who knows, who knows. All I want to do is just try and have fun, work hard, um, be successful. Um, also, um, Shakedown, <laughs> after I mentioned, after I mentioned about my own show, can't leave without mentioning my own show. Um, what I've learned about this show, doing this show is that I've made mistakes along the way. Uh, but it's still growing. I'm still having views and I'm still getting subscribers and, and I'm internally grateful for all of that. It's just obviously I'm thinking of ways to improve it. So I do hope to have um, people being interviewed on the show. Um, I think that's really going to be the next step. And I hope to um, I hope to try and take it to more places. I'm hoping to uh, you know reach out to a certain community and. You know, and I hope that it's it's gonna take me to places that I thought that it's never gonna be. Um, that's really the end goal for me for Shakedown. I, I, I um, you know, you know, with Arsenal Fan TV, for example, they started out simple, and now what's happening is that they got over 800 subscribers. They're working their way to try and get a million subscribers. That would be brilliant if they could do that. But um, I know that I've got a long way to go. Um, in terms of shakedown and I hope um, that I will be able to keep continue to do this video um, these videos 
and I hope to reach out to more and more people. I'm just going to have to keep going and see how it goes. But um, yeah, it's been a great year for, for me, to be honest. Um, I still got my health, you know, I'm still got my family. Um, the people that's been caring about me, um, I can't help but um, say that, you know, I love them. Um, I appreciate them. Um, and um, yeah, I, I had a great year. It's, um, I had a great year. It's, it's one of those things that I had to kind of learn on a personal level in terms of where I'm trying to go in my future. But um, I'm pleased with the way that it's going to end. So, and on that note, I will end. <laughs> Next week is the first video of 2018, 2019. <laughs> Let's have that right, 2019. And um, I will be talking about the things that's going to be coming um, in the next 12 months. And um, yeah, so for that, I hope that you'll join me then. In the meantime, I hope you had a lovely, lovely, lovely Christmas. Um, have a great New Year's um, Eve, whatever you get up to. And I'll see you back um, next week with a look into 2019. Um, stay tuned for all that. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Um, I'm on uh, shakedown um, underscore 18. That's on Instagram and Facebook shakedown 2018. So get a pro get a, get involved. Uh, let us know um, what you think of this video and all the other videos that we've done. We've done 35 episodes so far. Um, and uh, yeah. I'll see you next week. Peace out.